Hello everyone. Um, I hope everyone's doing okay. I've been really busy focusing on classes and I just had a midterm today and I wanted to like study more for my other midterm coming up next week. But I'd rather just stop procrastinating and make a video of the summary of The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. This book is fourth book out of 200 books that I'll be reading. And this book is going to be talking about the fundamentals of investing. Now I'm going to talk about three key points that I found in this book. I'll try to share the thoughts so that like I hope it's going to be helpful for you guys. So for the first point is that Benjamin Graham mentions that first of all, don't lose money. He explained this view in terms of like a compound interest where you can put your money in the next month's or US treasury bonds you're almost proven to be growing five percent of the money every year if you lose money you're going to be so much far behind the people who are growing five percent every year because compound interest grows exponentially over time the second key point things that i found is that do research of the stocks before you buy and don't buy just because stocks has gone up the stock is either overly pessimistic or overly optimistic he makes an example with like an amazon where like it grows like 10 percent every year by revenue and which is great but their price to earning ratio is close to like 100. He thinks it's very risky because it's basically saying current price is like the 100 times value of like your current earnings of the year. Definitely do research and try to think about like if the stocks that you're buying is like worth the price that they're asking for. The third key point is dollar cost average. If you invest in every month, you will protect your money without losing so much. Instead of putting like a $10,000 right now, if you put like 100th amount every month, you will lower your dollar cost average based on the decreasing price price of the stock so that you won't be losing as much. And he further explains that since you don't know whether market is going to go up or market is going to go down, um, dollar cost average will save a lot of money in, in case the market goes down. And then to the end, he just talks about how like satisfactory result is very possible. Exceeding result is very hard because the future potential of the stocks is included in the current price. So if you think that certain stocks going to go up, there's a chances that the other people think that this stock's going to go up. In order to make exceeding result over other people, you have to know the information that most of the people don't know. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. This was like 500 pages long. That's why it took like so much time for me to read. It's been really like bothering me a lot because I wasn't like confident enough to like think that like I can summarize this book thoroughly. But I really recommend reading this book because it really gives you like a new vision of the investing. I don't think you can call yourself an investor without reading this book. I hope to see you again. And if you like to watch other videos, it's gonna be over here. So thanks for watching and bye bye.